Hi guys, my name is Brooke with Bees Budgets and today we're going to do a, um, a game night and I'm going to stuff my cash envelopes for my wallet as well. So first things first, let's go ahead and we've got to count some money. So let's go ahead and use our fingertip moisturizer. Stuff moved out of the way for us here. All right. So, put our bank back over here. Let's see what we're working with today. So, we have 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, oh, I think I messed that up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. So I have 475. All right, so let's get that into our cash tray here. All right. So um, we got us in our cash tray. I don't do 50s on my channel. They're not allowed because <laughs> my brain can't handle them. So let's go ahead and I did get, or I do have one of my IOUs just in case we need it. Hopefully we don't. Um, but we will start with our um, envelopes for our wallet. So grocery is first and grocery is getting 150. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a 10. So grocery has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, and 50. And I always put smallest denominations to the front. That's how my brain likes to see it. That's how I've always been since I was young and had my own money. Little money had to go to the front. I don't know why. It's like, oh, in my head. <laughs> if someone wants to steal my wallet, they only see ones in the front. They're probably like, oh no, they only have one. So I ain't messing with that wallet. Yeah, right. Okay, so groceries. And then spending will get 40. And it'll be 120 and two tens. And this is spending for me and my son. So we each get 20. I just put them all in one envelope because it's like, does it necessarily need to be two separate? No. <laughs> and then um, household is for any toiletries and it will be getting 20 all in fives. So five, 10, 15, 20. Okay. And eat out will get 70. And that will be 120, three tens, and four fives. Three and four. So that will be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And miscellaneous will is getting 20, which will be 110 and two fives. Come on. All right. Oh, what happened here? Come on. wallet all 
Come on. Everything is just behaving difficult to... There we go. Alright, we got those in there. Wallet is done. So now we can play some games. Yay! Alright. So let's go ahead and start with our affinity challenge. And this is by budget by our budget with Ira. And I think we're gonna do the small one, the small denomination. And that we need a plus and minus and one dice. So here, oh, I need a mover. And let's go with this little frog. No, he's a little too big. Let's go with Karen. If you watched my first game night video, she's out of control. She just attaches to everybody's magnets in there. Okay, so we got a four and um, just straight four. So one, two, three, four is three. One, two, three. Go again we got a one forward so four one two oh let's put a one back and get a five let's do one more five backwards one two three four five two oh my gosh that's a horrible one all right so for affinity, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we will set that off to the side. And we will get our game binder out. And we will start with Barbie. Okay. So here's our game piece. And we need our Barbie spinner. So we will spin and we're going to start right here where it says start. Three, one, two, three. Oh wait. Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to roll. Oh goodness, guys. All right, we will roll one dice. We go one. So that's the Barbie head. And for the Barbie head, I've decided I'm going to do a scratch off for that. Our scratcher. Roll another one to see which one we're gonna do. Oh. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll scratch this one right here. And we got two dollars. One, two. Okay. Ah, I'm all miscombobulated here. All right. Roll again. We got a two. One, two. Now we got the spinner. <laughs> and we got a one. So we'll save one dollar. We got a six. One, two, three, four, five, six is a one for one dollar. Go again. Two. One, two. We got the spin again. And we got two. One, two. So for Barbie, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Take those ones back and do six. Okay. 
and then we will do one of these and let's just roll for it. I'm gonna make the Barbie heads a five. No, I'm gonna make the Barbie heads a spin on the wheel. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. We got one, so one, <laughs> which is the Barbie head, we'll spin. And we got a one, so we'll save one for that. I will color in the purse. very poorly all right dry her off all right put her back in her spot and then we have one more scratch off with this game we'll go for our scratch two so one two scratch this one these holographic scratchers And we got the diamond heart. Hope you can see that. I know the glare is kind of bad, but uh, the diamond heart is worth five. So we'll put five in there. We'll put that back. And then one last thing for Barbie is we are going to scratch one of our Barbie heads from boys or planning with boys we'll start in the back and then just go forward I did mix these up And we got a two. So we will save two. All right, that completes Barbie. So all together, Barbie got, let's get these straightened out here. Five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we will put that in our Barbie envelope. Okay, and next we'll move on to Carnival. Which is a bunch of games. And these all come from Saving with Shalonda. If you already don't know, pretty amazing quality on stuff. These are Oh, I'm not sure why my computer started making noises here. Not really sure what happened. My computer disconnected from my com or uh, from my camera, and I didn't know if it was still shooting, so I went ahead and just unplugged it and plugged it back in. So we are going to start with Carnival Fun Fair Low Income Savings Challenges. So we are gonna start with brain freeze and how brain freeze works is I'm gonna use um, a color dye and I'm going to roll for the color and then I'm going to roll the dice for the number that I'm going to save for that color, okay? So we've got red, so the red slushy, and we're gonna save 
four. Let me get my black. So I'm gonna go right up here and I'm gonna write a four. One, two, three, four. This is my first time playing all these guys, so if there's some little way I wanna play it different, then um, next time it might be a little different, but right now we're just rolling with it. All right, and blue. And blue is going to save $2. So one and two. All right. What is going on? I don't know what's going on with my computer and my um, camera, but they're having attitudes. Okay, so this is Shoot the Ducks. And so you... Um, roll one dice and then you go if you hit the target then you roll and save otherwise each duck is worth one dollar okay so six one two three four five six and we're gonna save one dollar four one two three four one dollar two one two one dollar six one two three four five six okay now we got a target so now we're gonna roll and save so we got a two so we're gonna save two dollars all right so for shoot the ducks, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's keep a one. Let's take out a ten. Oh, I guess that wasn't just shoot the ducks. That was also brain freeze. But I wanted to condense my ones. Was getting kind of low. So, um, so that was shoot the ducks. So next is um, can toss, and can toss needs six dice. Two, three, four five and six and then the goal here is to get all six numbers all right so we got one two three and four so you get one more chance and we didn't get it so we are missing that was a one so one two three four so we're missing the five and the six so five and six, okay. And then, um, oh, I should have done this with the dry erase marker. Oh, it's already dried on there. Oh well, I'll clean it with my magic eraser afterwards. Okay. And then, so we got five, three, and four. And then we got one. So we got, so we're missing the one, we're missing the two, three, four, five, and the six. So we're missing the two and the six. All right, let's go again. We got one, four, and six. Okay. And there's our one and our three and our five. So we're just missing our two. Okay. So we didn't um, get one, two, three, four, five um, cans. So we'll save five dollars. Okay. I guess you could just tally up what you miss. So like five, six, two, six, and two. But I want to keep playing, so I don't want to waste all my money right away. So we will put in numbers for these. So we'll go one, two, three, four, six, and five. Okay. And then we will roll our color dice and we got purple. So purple is a two. Green is one. Yellow is four. So we will save 
those amounts all together. So four, five, six, seven. So five, six, seven. And then we'll do the same thing over there. So we got purple again. So two, two, purple again, and purple again. So two, so six dollars. So five and six. All right. Next game is touchdown. So we roll for we roll for a six and let's see, we get three tries to get a six. And then um, if we get a six, then we put a tally there and then we try for a one for the extra point. If we get the one, we'll put a tally or we pay $2. So let's just roll and see. Okay, six, nope. Nope. And no. So we didn't get a, we did not get a touchdown there. We did get a touchdown here. So that's one. And then now we get one roll to try for our extra point. Oh, and we got it. So that's two. Okay. So we would save $3 for this. Okay. Now we come over to this football. Try this one. One, two, Oh, we got it on the last roll. Now we try for our one. Oh, we didn't get it. So we just saved one. So we just saved one, two, three, four dollars. I'm gonna put a dollar back and take a five. All right, and that's how you play touchdown. And then hoops. Hoops is you are gonna roll and you're gonna write a one for odd, two for even, and the majority wins, and that's what you pay. So three is odd, so we got a one. Four is even, so that's two. Four is even, that's two. Three is odd, so that's one. Three is odd, so that's one. So our majorities are one, so we're gonna pay what each one is. So one, two, three. Two and three. Okay. And that's it for the games for Garnival. Now we gotta do the scratchers. Put that away. And then here is our Carnival scratchers. I'm gonna try to use that one that I got from Planning with boys. I've never used a scratcher like this. I want to see how well it works. Okay, so now we need to write our denominations that we want to save if we if we scratch off one of these. So I am going to write in, let's see. This one has to be a five because it looks delicious. Vanilla is just gonna be a one. Um, strawberry is gonna be a three. Chocolate's gonna be a four. Um, the multiple ice cream cones gonna be a two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't realize there were six of them, so we'll make this one six. Okay. And we're gonna roll to see which one we're gonna scratch. And we got a five. I hope these dice are on camera. I'm sorry if they weren't. One, two, three, four, five. So it is nice to scratch this, but it's such a big surface that it scratches that if you're right next to another one right next to it, it makes me a little nervous. Oh, and we got the delicious looking one with all the treats on it, and that is worth $5. Okay, now we got tornado. All right, so now we need to color in an action at the bottom and then color one of these. So let's do, let's go ahead and do the save two. And I'm gonna get my dry eraser out. You know what, I'm already gonna have to magic erase all of this, so I might as well just continue on with it, right? So I'm gonna go with save $2, so that means whatever we get, we've gotta add $2 to it. And I'm not gonna go with a multiplier just because of a lot of games to play. <laughs> and five, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh, 
Okay, and we got a four. So we get a four plus two, so that's six. Okay, and that's Tornado. And then Funnel Cake Factory is, welcome to the Funnel Cake Factory. Select a funnel cake to enjoy and save that amount. All right. And we're going to enjoy number four. One, two, three, four. Well, let's see which funnel cake we got. Better be a delicious one. Ooh, I think that's like caramel. It does sound delicious. And that is worth four dollars. So one, two, three, and four. All right. And airplane. Simply roll two dice. Count the number of spaces and where you land. Save that amount. All right. She says two dice, so we're gonna do two. And we got nine, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one right here. Five dollars. the last one for all of the carnivals and that one was carnival ultimate carnival number two if you're interested in with saving with Shalanda I will have her channel linked below if you want any savings challenge games I'm telling you she's top-notch with it can't go wrong. All right, let's count what we got and change out some of these bills. Oh my. We made a dent in our money, that's for sure. All right. So we've got 10. Um, let's do 10, 15, I want to count them as ones. I don't know why it keeps on. my head wanting to count as ones. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. Dang, $55. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 5, 10, 15, 20, and grab a, that 20. All right. Condense those down a little bit. All right. Let's go ahead and do pressure luck, which I'm pretty sure this one's going to take a bunch too. This one's going to be mean. All right. So, pressure luck. And then I need, let's see. I need a pad of paper. Or I need some paper, not a pad. All right. We'll oh, set that right there so we know what we're doing here. Okay. So pressure lock. All right, so how we play this one is we roll. So let's roll two dice, and that gives us six. So that's how many spins we, or how many rounds we have to take because that's how um, pressure luck is played. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then we need to get out our mover. Okay. So let's get Karen right here. All right, and then let's roll, let's just roll one dice for our around the board. So one, so that's one, and we save one dollar. Lots of ones, one, 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 one. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see all this. Okay, 
and three. So one, two, three. And that was our second go at it. So we saved three dollars. One, two, three. Okay. Five. One, two, three, four, five. We cross our round off here. So we have to keep track because some of these you have to add and you just have to know where you're at because otherwise you'll lose your space. Okay, so that was our third. So we need we have three more. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One dollar. Might get off of this one nicely. And six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Save two dollars. And we cross our turn off. We got one more turn left. One is save three. Wow. We get off of that nicely. All right. So our six goes are done. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how uh, pressure luck can add up. That was like really easy. Sometimes like if you land on the whammy, that's $5. And then um, it'll start adding spins. Like here you add a spin and then here you add a spin. So it, it starts tallying up, but that's $11. Just one go around playing it the way it's supposed to be played. So we are not going to chance it and <laughs> go again. So. We're just gonna put our eleven dollars in here and uh, move along to the scratch off of it. All right, let's roll for which one we're gonna scratch off. We're gonna scratch off the first one. going to add two dollars to our pressure luck envelope one two and pressure luck is done come on so pressure luck has thirteen dollars So that binder is completed. And then we have another game binder, <laughs> which I believe are all from saving from Shalonda again. <laughs> so we have Mario. Mario's got quite a bit of games in there with scratchers, of course. Oh yeah, and then uh, Price is Right. Has a bunch of different ones in there, and um, knockout nine. So let's let's play knockout nine first before we get into the games. Um, so this is basically like a shut the box, and I'm gonna roll one pink and one black, and let's get my let's get. Do those two colors. All right. So we got a. Let's do purple for what we have to pay, green for what we got. Okay, six and one. Do I want to do? Let's just mark off seven. Are we not working. Okay. <laughs> Those aren't gonna work, so let's go and see what else we got in our bag of tricks here. I kinda wanna do highlighters. Let's do blue for what we get and orange for what we have to pay. Okay. Okay, back at it. So seven. Yeah, so that way we can still see the number through there. That's what I wanted. All right. Five or three and two. Let's do the five. 
this game's so frustrating too because it's like if you know ahead of time then you're like you're like dang it i knew i should have done that two and that three seven but we can do our six and our one Okay. Oh no, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eight and two. All right. And three. I have to do the three. Making me nervous because all the low numbers are going. Ah, and we're out. Because we got a 10 and we only have a 4 and a 9, which does not equal 10. That's not too bad though. With two left. But of course we got the big daddy left. So that is 13. So 10, 11, 12, 13 for knockout nine. That's kind of fun though. I like that game. I, I, we always call it shut the box. We actually have a shut the box in our house. Um, like the actual box with the dice and you flip the things down. And uh, me and my son like to play that a lot. But this one, I just, I thought the colors were so pretty. So I had to, had to download it and print it off. All right, let's start with Mario. All right, not starting with the scratch offs. All right, so here is her dashboard again, saving with Shalanda. <laughs> pretty much all my games are. So this one, we're gonna start at the verse icon. We're gonna roll one dice, and if you land on a regular coin, you're gonna save $1. If you land on a star coin, you're gonna save $2. Unless you want to um, put a higher amount in. But because we're playing so many games, I am going to stick with two and one. I like that idea. So two. So one, two. Right off the bat, star coin. <laughs> so there's two dollars. Four. One, two, three, four. Another <laughs> star coin. <laughs> All right, one more time. Uh, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, put a dollar here. There we go. <laughs> Good night. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> okay. All right, roll the color die and one regular die to determine which egg you're gonna hatch. For example, if you roll a purple and a six, cross off the six for the purple Yoshi and save that amount. Lower incomes, you can do even and odd. So how she does her games, if you wanna do a lower income, what, um, let's say you land on a six, like it says in the example, that's an, an even number, so you would pay $2. Any even number, you pay $2. Any odd number, you would pay $1. It's a way you can play a little bit more for lower income so everybody can play and have a good time. So, but we are going to see what we get here. So we got green and one. So that's just for one. So we'll save $1. We're gonna roll one more time. And of course we got a orange and six. So five and six. My goodness. It started off nice. I thought, well, let's go again. And then bam. Okay. Roll one dice. For every odd roll, save one dollar and color the mushroom red. For every roll, even roll, save two dollars and color the mushroom green. So I need a red and a green. can do that so green and red all right let's do a lighter green there we go like a true green the one I picked out was a little a little on the teal side okay all right toadtastic 
All right, let's roll the dice. And we got odd. Odd is which color again? Odd is uh, red. Okay, let's do that again. And we get an even. If I do that, I'm gonna get Parker all over me. Let's do one more. Even. Okay. So we have two, four, five. Okay. That was toadtastic. Next up is Mario Kart Super Circuit. So we're gonna roll a color die to determine which player will advance in the race, okay? Roll the black die if odd color is one street dash and save $1. And if you roll an even color, roll um, even color in two street dashes and save $2. You will save $20 for each player who makes it to the finish line first. Who will be last? As each player completes the race, add their position where the flags are for a bonus. Circle who you think will win the race. If your player wins first through third place, save an additional five. If they are fourth or sixth place, save an additional 10. I like that. Well, well we have to go for Peach, of course. Okay, so I am going to circle Peach up here. Okay, and that's who I think is gonna win, or who I want to win. And I'm gonna use, yeah, let's use pink for the, for the dashes. All right, here we go. Oh, we need the color dice too. Okay. All right, starting out with Luigi and he got six, which is even. So he gets two dashes. And that's $2. Dang, I'm out of ones again. We got orange, which is and he got even so he went to f he gets one dollar all right I'll cash out some of these first one two three four five one two three four five One, two, three, four. So 20, I don't have a 20. Let's get those two tens. And then I owe a dollar for Toad. All right, so that's kind of fun. You just keep going and then when you get to the end, it'll be $20. See who wins. Okay, for this challenge, you will need a deck of cards. Pull the first card for each suit. You will then raise the deck to get four of a kind. Whatever four of a kind you get first, save that card amount. Save five dollars for Jack, Queen, King, Ace. For example, get four sixes, save six dollars. Mark the card on in the diamond mark and um, six to record the star. Okay, so we need a deck of cards. All right, got a deck of cards. jokers out this is a new deck of cards too y'all so bear with me ah! <laughs> it's like I knew it was gonna happen <laughs> if 
they're so slippery. These are the waterproof cards too, so. The waterproof cards are nice, but they are slick. Even when you get them more in. Oh, see? Look how slick they are. It's crazy. But they're nice. They don't they don't really go bad. Like the only bad part is they don't really wear in like like a normal deck of cards do. They are so slippery. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've played with a lot of cards in my life and never in my life. My card's so slippery. Okay. We're going to call that mixed up. All right. So we need one of each suit. Diamond. Another diamond. Heart. Club. Spade. All right. Perfect. That wasn't too bad. Look at all these numbers. <laughs> oh, we need four of a kind. What am I doing? I'm still piling. All right. So we need six, queen, eight, or nine. Oh. Dang, I think we got three of a kind in all of them. Queen wins. My goodness. Look at these slippery cards out here. Oh my. If you guys like to play cards, you should. You should get a waterproof deck just to, just so you can feel it. It's an experience, let me tell you. <laughs> I can't even pick them up. All right. Get those back in here before they fly off. I don't know how much more I'm gonna be playing with those. All right, so we got a queen. And qu the queen was Oh no! Pretty sure the queen was a club. <laughs> We're gonna go a club. Dang it. Sorry guys. Alright, um, and uh, for face card was five dollars. I'm just gonna color in the club. Do we write? So we just write queen. Alright. Oh we alright, now we're to the scratch offs for We're almost out of money, y'all. Alright. Peach. One. Alright, Peach, be nice to me. Even set an amount. I'm supposed to set an amount for peach and peach. <laughs> Let's just do two and three. Oh, I don't have enough ones. One, two, and three. 
All right, and then Bowser's Castle. Help rescue Princess Peach, set an amount for icons based on your budget. One, two, and three, scratch to save the amount until Peach is revealed. Once Peach is revealed, the remaining icons become a double. So let's go one, two, three. Keep it simple. One, two, three. And let's roll for which one we're gonna scratch. Number six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we got Bowser, which is three. Of course we did. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I only need to pay three. So we're gonna put back two, take a five. Okay, we completed Mario. Let's see how far we can go before we run out. It's me, Mario. And Mario saved us. 10, 20, 5, 31, 2, 32. This game's taking all my money really quick. Good thing I set aside a little extra for all my um, for all my savings challenges. I thought I was gonna get to do all of them together. Guess not. All right, now let's play Palinko. So this one you're supposed to roll a, or flip a coin. I don't wanna flip a coin. We're just gonna go with the dice. And we're gonna call even. So for every even I get, I get a chip. For every odd, I lose a chip, okay? We'll start there. And it's odd right off the bat. We're doing great. So we lose a chip. Ooh, we got a chip for two. We lose a chip for five. Lose a chip for five. Okay. So I only get one chip. Lovely. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cash in my one chip to play my Plinko card. And I'm gonna roll the dice and then depending on where the dice is, is what I get to save. And I got a two, so I get to save two dollars. So right here, I will write in that I get to save $2. All right, Plinko is done. Let's put our Plinko chip back. Did you guys ever watch Price is Right? Just reminds me of staying home from school, being sick, watching Price is Right, drinking my 7-Up. My mom thought 7-Up would fix everything. <laughs> All right, now let's play Master Key. So we're gonna write a one and a six in the spaces below in any order. You will roll a one die and whatever lock you unlock first, will you will save that amount. Okay. So let's do, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what we get. Four, so cross off the four. Three, cross off the three. Three again, we already got it. Three again, we already got it. Four, we already got it. Six. Four. That dice is broken. Six. 
to, two. where did I got two? Stop it. Four. We need a one or a five. There we go, we got a five. Of course we got the big guy. <laughs> so we will save five dollars. That's how you play Master Key. All right, bonkers. Okay, so we got to set a timer for 45 seconds. Okay, I have 45 seconds right here ready. And we have to roll with the say. All right, so first one we have to roll three and a one, and we have to do it till the, by the time our timer stops. Okay, ready? I'm gonna start now. All right, go. Three and two, so I got my three, so I'm gonna roll for one. Got it. Um, four and six. I got my four. Need a six. Got it. One and six. There's five. So we'll go for five and four. Oops. I lost my dice. Five and four, got it. Um, six and one, oh. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so we didn't get, so the timer. Pay one dollar, so we didn't get this one. So I didn't get this one, this one, or this one. So I had to pay three dollars. I don't have three dollars. Not a dollars. One, three, three, four, five. All right. So push over, we write one through six. One, two, three, four, five. It says one through six, right? Yeah. One, and let's put a five there. Okay. Then we're gonna set a timer for one minute, starting with the last number you will need to roll it before advancing to the next. You will, will you beat the clock for every remaining block? Pay $1 for greater savings, select the multiplier. We're not selecting a multiplier because we are almost out of money. Ah, where'd that go? Okay, and this one is one minute. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, start. We got a one. One. Two, five. Oh, I'm not doing it right. You gotta go. Ah. All right. Stop. Pause. <laughs> oh, delete. Start over. I screwed it up. All right. We gotta start going this way. <laughs> All right. So we gotta get a three. All right. Start. Three, got it. Five, got it. Six, got it. Four, got it. One, got it. Two. Two. Jeez. Okay. So we didn't get the two, five, or one, so we need to save three dollars. That two was very difficult. Did not want to come out of there. All right, so 
So we will save three dollars. Need some more ones. All right. All right, now we got take two. For this game, you will need a calculator. Roll two dice and multiply. Roll a second time and divide, then roll two and a third. Finally, roll a fourth time and subtract that amount. What? This is math? <laughs> if you end up with a negative number, automatically save. Okay, for the game, you need a calculator. All right, let's get a calculator. Mine is missing a button. I have no idea where it went. It fell on the floor. And I have swept, I have vacuumed, I have everything, and I cannot find it. Okay. We're gonna roll two dice. All right. Rolled two dice, we got a 10. Okay. Roll two dice and multiply. So five times five. Okay, it's 25. I don't know if I'm playing this right, guys. And then roll a second time and divide. So we got nine, so 25 divided by nine. 2.7. Okay, so let's just round up to three. <laughs> All right, and then roll again, and we got eight. So eight plus three is 11. And then we subtract eight. We got Three. What's up? That's always getting three. <laughs> All right. That's how we play it, I guess. I think I did that right. I might have done it wrong, but whatever. That's what we got. So, um, three. Three, four, three, four, five. I'm sure I probably played that one wrong. I don't remember that one. Must have been asleep. The seven up might have kicked in by that time. <laughs> okay, so price is right. Goes here. Come on, get in there. We have no scratch. Oh, we have no scratchers for price is right. So that's it. Okay. So fifteen, sixteen dollars for the price is right. Outstanding. Okay. And then I always separate the scratch offs from the game pieces, just because the scratch offs are always bigger numbers, so just, to, just in case you don't want to play both, you can kind of play the smaller ones. All right, so that's all of our games. So, ah! Here, I thought we weren't gonna make it through with the money. Um, so we have five, 10, 15, 20, one, two. We have $22 left? Wow, okay. All right. What else we got here then? See, we've got, we can do some Halloween stuff. Let's do that. Let's do some of our Halloween stuff that we just got. I know I'm feeling, or being a little ambitious pulling all of this out, but. So we have this scratcher. Let's do this. Okay, these are little guys. Let's go ahead and get our cuticle pusher out. Let's roll for which one we need to scratch. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Four dollars. Okay. All 
All right. And then, um, let's get that one. So $4. Let's put a five over here. We don't have $4 bills, but we'll put a five over here and just remember that we still have an extra dollar in there. Let's scratch one of these. This was a freebie from seven. <laughs> Some very nice freebie. <laughs> okay, so we only owe it six because we still had a dollar left from our last one. Okay. School was kind of mean to us. <laughs> and let's do a Hocus Pocus one. A tarot card, shall we? I'm not sure what this one is. Number of pumpkins. I don't know if this is just a dashboard or just a card. I'm not sure. I have no idea what the denominations on these are, so let's hope. Let's hope I don't have to fill out that IOEO. <laughs> Oh, there's the devil. Okay, let's do like we normally, let's do like the tarot people do where we shuffle and then when one falls out, that's the one we do. All right, that's the one we do. And that is the moon. Be nice to us, Moon. Thirteen dollars. That was not nice. <laughs> All right. So thirteen. Oh, of course. Five, ten. Oh no! We only have eleven. We have a two-dollar IOU. Well, that was short-lived. I owe you two dollars. That was fun. We got to do a little more than just our games. What will I will do? I will use this as a separator from the done ones. I'm not sure what that is. All right, so we will put that in our hocus pocus. Back here. Oh, I could have pulled a wild card. Oh well. And put that in there. And then our Halloween vibes envelope gets. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2. And $2 IOU. Ugh. Okay. Put all these back. in here and that will complete our game night okay guys that is all i have for you um, I did set aside some more money for uh, savings challenges, so like my 52-week envelope and my scratchers and stuff like that, not just the games. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I have a school project me and my son are working on, so I don't know if I'll get time to do that um, tomorrow or not. But 
anyway, I will uh, see you guys whenever I can get to that video. But I appreciate you guys staying here with me. Um, if you liked the video, please give me a like, comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. See ya!